Sup, 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 my name is Ray for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Accounts, and I hope you are ready to basically watch one of the greatest duels I've ever had. And this is Noble Knights versus Shadows. I'm playing Noble Knights, and this is me testing them to basically find a build that I'm pretty freaking comfortable with for sharing from you guys. And, what I, you know, what I think is pretty defined as a good build. Now, I am testing a lot of stuff that basically will be cut, but you're not going to see it in the video, thankfully. At least I don't think you do. I mean, I think you'd see, like, the field card. I, I've been testing it just to test it because I do go on different forums and read through what people are saying and a lot of people saying, oh, well, it, it's good. No, it sucks. So I try to make my own, you know, opinion on it. So I don't know what he's playing at this point. I was going into mindset. I'm going to play typical, you know, Noble Knights. He plays the Shadow Roots and I'm like, okay, I have to trap stun and just start going nuts. So, either this is going to be a great match, a terrible match, or a grind match. And this was pretty much everything in one that I could ever really... It, it pushed me to the limits, honestly. This this match had me push to the limits. So, he's going to play Insufusion. And I'm going to chain the Maxi. And what he's going to bring out, I'm going to have to break down for you guys. Because some of you may not know this card, and we'll talk about it on Coffee Time Monday. If you really want. This is Elder God Noden. And basically, when he special summon, even by Ince Infusion, he can target one level four or lower monster in the graveyard, and then, well, in your graveyard, and special it. Its effects are negated, and when it leaves the field, it gets banished. He's got tw 2,000 attack points with 2,200 defense. He's also Fairy and Water. So he sets up for Christia, Abyss Dweller. He makes you go into, like, exceeds really easy, and the Abyss Dweller will have a 500 attack point gain. That's pretty big, honestly. You know, when you think about Abyss Dweller, it's usually 1700 unless you're playing Mermels. So, he goes for Extinction Knight. And I'm like, okay. <clears throat> and I actually learned something about Extinction Knight. You see how the chain is happening? The chain result from Extinction Knight's effect. Now, everything else is applying on top. Extinction Knight again. Because it's once per, like, chain. I believe that's what it was. Um, yeah, once per ch once per chain. So, he timed it excellently. And, like, it was just... It was like, what in the hell just happened? Because I've never really seen any, well, I never had the pleasure of, doing, of anyone doing that to me. And I think this is one of those times I'm just like, I kind of wish I had two ga cowboys. And I did draw Soul Charge, but I'm kind of holding on to it. Because I'm going to try to wait, drop him enough just to go cowboy win the game. And now it seems like it's, it still seems it's kind of one-sided until this starts happening. And this here basically locks out special summons. And it's like Ophion, their version of a fusion Ophion. And then you get all their effects. And because I have a special summon monster, he can fuse from his deck. So, <laughs> he can use the fusion materials from the deck. This is the Light Swarm variant that he's playing. I'm going to start posting Shadol decks and probably some duels with them and stuff. So you guys can get a feel for basically how this works. Uh, that's the new Shadol fusion. So, I'm going to set... Uh, not going to set anything. Okay, I'm going to play Dry Stain. Dry Stain's going to get that off the field. I'm going to take a 5 gain. And I'm going to equip the queen so I could just get over this because I cannot special. Like, I, I can only special once and it's really, really just annoying. So I'm going to set Trental Tribute and just end my turn. And he's at 1100. So I'm feeling like. I, I'm not. I'm still not feeling confident. He goes for this. Now, this is also. I, I just want to break this down real quick. This is uh, Castle the Avian Sky Blaster. I have yet to put this in any of the extra decks because this comes from. Uh, the Duelist Advit, which has a, a different name in the TCG, and I can't remember. But you can only use the effect once per turn, <coughs> and only once that turn. You can detach 1xc from this card, target one face-up monster on the field, change it to face down, or you could detach 2 exceed uh, materials and target one other face-up card on the field, and shuffle it right into the deck. So, that is definitely one when the set comes out you definitely want to have, because it's going to it's going to be up there. It's going to be really silly. So he goes for the Shadol, uh, the the big Shadol fusion. I'm just going to call it big Shadol fusion. So he gets to send stuff, and then he gets to do stuff, and it's really freaking annoying, enough said. He gets to send it to the graveyard, but I get to re-equip, and then I get to blow his stuff up, and then he gets his effect. And it's just like 20 minutes of, of just using effects. <clears throat> so he can't get over Dry Sting, because Dry Sting is 2300, so... It's actually pretty good for me. I'm going to take a 500 light point gain. I'm going to go to summon, go for 101, and just suck that thing up. Now that I suck it up, I'm going to instantly go for soul charge and drop myself 4,000 light points. Now, the only reason I'm doing this is because I know I can recoup life points with noble knights. 
And uh, I probably should have just used just one of them to uh, go into this and kept it, you know, the other one on the field so I could, I could do stuff, but I can't really do much with it, right? So I kind of felt like when I was doing this last night that it was a uh, misplay, but I don't believe it was. Because, again, I'm not super skilled with Noble Knights just yet. So I go for the Guy Cowboy. I'm trying just to like, do anything to basically just end this game. And, obviously, I can't have a battle phase. <coughs> so, he has a Shadow Fusion. He's going to fuse again. And look at this. Rainbow Karibos in there, man. Rainbow Karibo too good. You know, it gives him nice defense. Gives him a little light. So he's going to um, he's gonna flip. Now, I started questioning this because he could not use it, you know, to really... He couldn't use it to um, use its effect, as I believe he used one in the grave. And when he flipped it, I'm like, wait, what? So you want to lose the game? <laughs> like that, That's just my understanding. I don't know what my next card would have been. Um, that's always going to remain a mystery. And he did have the mass chain seconds, which you know he couldn't really use at the time. So it was all sorts of crazy stuff going on there. Um, he could have taken out Guy Cowboy... This would have still been on field if he had set back row, and I guess I would have attacked into that. Or just, I don't, I don't know. Like it's a situation that you know it's a little bit scary to have to deal with. And plus, if I attack into it, I do have uh, Gwen there attached, so I believe it would be. Uh, I believe Gwen would be destroyed. I'm not fully sure about that, but it was one hell of a duel. If you guys like what you saw, hit that like button, and if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. That's a lot of buttons. And uh, if you thought the video was cool, just slap down a comment down in the comments below. If you have a deck request or a dual request, you know what you want to see uh, be used, then just let me know in the comments and I surely will get to it. And finally, if you guys enjoyed the video and you know people that are trying to build Noble Knights or whatnot and just want to see the epicness or they put it down, then share this video. Go for it. I won't lie. I didn't think Noble Knights can do to this level. This is pretty, pretty awesome. But it's only with really good hands. But anyway, I'm ready for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Council. Till next time. Peace.